Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to some more tabs. Now in this video we're going to be continuing on with the second part of the campaign that was created for me by Donna. So yeah, let's see how it goes and we'll just jump into it. So don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. That way you won't miss out on any future awesome content. So into campaign, into custom, Donna's Trident Challenge, and we're on Artemis and Defensive Units. So let's go for it. Okay, so let's see what defensive units we have, shall we? So what have we got? We've got Artemis there, overpowered Artemis, as this game is known for, because she is just way too good. And then it's basically just shield units and a potion guy. Okay, well that should be quite easy. I mean, we've got 7,800 to spend. So, obviously we need to get the uh, spear throwers in there, as always. My lucky spear throwers. Now... I know she fires quite fast, but I'm hoping we could get some firework archers to fire before her. Because if we can, then they can just hit her and nullify her. And it should be easy from then. So what else can we put in? We we're going to need some shield units of our own to take her shots to begin with. So we're going to whack some of those in. Ten of those. Um... What else are really good units to have against that? I'm thinking maybe the wheelbarrow. Because the wheelbarrow is fast. So if we put one there and one there, they should be able to dart in from the sides and take them out. And maybe some hay balers behind those just to help protect a little bit. Maybe. Yeah, we'll go for that. But we've still got 960 to spend. So, what can we do? Maybe, how much are Scarecrows? No, we don't have enough for Scarecrows. What if we, uh, how much for a Scarecrow? Okay, let's take out one more on that side. And we'll put in a Scarecrow as well. Let's just go all out. That's actually quite a good setup, I reckon. Two wheelbarrows, some shields, some hay balers, Scarecrow, some firework archers, and some spear throwers. So, let's see how it goes. Let's go. Let's slow it down quickly. So it looks as if my plan might be working, but they actually just all missed Artemis, which isn't good. But the wheelbarrow has come in and taken Artemis down. So now it's about if we can get Artemis first. I think Artemis is down or being just carried off somewhere. Nice. Really simple victory, that one. I thought that was going to be quite hard because of Artemis, but my plan did work. One of the units was able to wipe her out soon enough to stop her damage in too many units. But that's pretty good. Let's move on. So we've got tier 1 units this time. Now this is the first one from every single era down the bottom. So just the first unit from every single one that have been put in. So we've been given 5,000 gold. Which is actually quite a lot to take down tier 1 I reckon. But it should still be pretty good. Oh, and I just also wanted to say, in the last video, it was very pixelated, and that's an error on my part. I have to lower down the bitrate when I live stream, and I forgot to set it back when I was doing my recording. That's why it came out a bit bad. This one should be a lot better, because obviously I have reverted the settings back now. So, I hope this one's a bit clearer. Hopefully it won't happen again. It was just a massive error on my part. But yeah, let's, um, let's try and take down these Tier 1 units. So... Of course, once again, we have to go with my spear throwers. Although, there's there's the shields there. I'm thinking if we're going to take down those, we're probably better off putting them down the bottom here so they don't attack the shields. So, we're going to do 10 of those. Um, what else can we go for? I'm thinking maybe some archers. Archers aren't bad. Putting some archers down there. Now, I know what's going to be good for the shields. What have we got behind the shields? The clubbers, the halflings down there. So against the shields, what we're going to need to do is use the stone mage. Because these stone mages absolutely annihilate shields. They really do. They just absolutely dominate the shields. So we'll definitely put those in. Now, I probably could win it just by... I could have just put a mammoth in and won it, probably. Because the mammoth's just ridiculous. But I'm thinking we need to go crazy with it. Let's go full on crazy. Let's do some ninjas. Oh, we can only put in two ninjas. I didn't realise they were that expensive. 500. Okay, let's uh, go for some monks then. Because they're a lot cheaper. 
There you go. We've got, what was that, that I put in? Four monks. And it still left us with 200. So are there any units that are only cost 100? There we go. Some squires. Let's put those in. I know I've got them set up really weird, but it's my sort of plan to try and annihilate each section. So, yeah, let's see how this one goes as well. Now, the first thing I want to focus on are these up here. Because, okay, they took out half the shields, but that's it. I probably put them in the wrong place. That's not good. I completely missed what was going on down here. Our spear throwers and archers are still going. And I think we've taken down all the shields, which is a good sign. I think we are dominating at the moment. Our monks are still going. I don't know if the stone mages survived that last attack. I don't think they did. But we've got some monks and we've still got a squire there. We've still got our archers over here and our spear throwers taking down the samurai. Now, they're probably going to struggle. That's why I kind of need the monks to come over and help them out. Because I don't see these archers surviving much longer. I think we may actually lose this one. Because the monks are still just getting lured away by the bards. This isn't good. This is not good. We could easily lose this. Right, we've got a fight going on over here with the monk. And I zoomed in way too far. They're just going to absolutely annihilate him, surely. Yeah, he's down. I think my plan's backfired. That's not good. Luckily, being on this map... They can't run off the edge and lure my people off the edge. So that kind of does help. But he's still struggling to kill him. And he's now just going to get wiped out from behind. Come on. Take out at least one of them. Right, there we go. He took out one. I don't really know where the other person is. Have we got someone stuck behind here? We do. But at least he has got them in a bottleneck. So they can't all get him. Nope, he decided to let them out. And he's dead. But he did take out another one. I think we just needed more monks. <laughs> I can't believe this squire is still running around as well. Just wiping them all out. Where are you going? Great. So he can't get through with his big stick. That is a very big stick, mate. You're a lucky guy. And they're about to be ganged up on from behind. That's it. Go on. Smack him. Smack him. Smack him. Did he just do it? I think he did. And he got himself through as well. So have we got anyone left on the blue team that can attack or just these guys? I think it's just these guys playing their music. But the problem is he can't get him. Right, he got him. He finally got him. Now he just needs to try and find his way back through. Which I don't think is going to happen. I think we might be in a stalemate here. Come on, mate. You're not even trying to get through. Like, do you see all of this space here that you can come through with i can't remember how to take control of them is it f it is now if i could get him through and then i know i don't like doing that i don't like taking control but otherwise i've got to restart it all and then do it all so it kind of helped to do that really mate i just got you out of a gap and now you're stuck there okay now i don't think i'm going to be able to attack that one Oh, okay. Random weird noises. So we're going to come over here. We'll just take control for a little bit and just start fighting as him. Is that one dead yet? No, swing with your right. There we go. That's another one down. I'm just going to have to do it this way. I don't like taking control though. It is horrible taking control. Because I like seeing what happens in the battles and not influencing it. But... The way that I see it is we would have won anyway because eventually we would get them and kill them. I'm just speeding it up because obviously these guys don't attack. One of the problems is this guy's very slow and it means that I'm actually having trouble catching up to these guys to kill them because they're very fast. So I just sort of have to run them around until they get stuck. And I really wish they'd stop going into gaps. Is he dead? No. Is he dead now? Right, he's dead. Come on. Come on. You. Okay, we've got some more trapped, I think. Come on, stay there. Stay there. Stay there. No. There you go. I think that one's down. Can we get through here with this guy? No, but we chased him out the other side. And these guys keep taunting me, running up behind me. This is not cool. 
Hawazawa. That's basically how he's talking. I have no idea what he's saying. Oh my god, I'm getting so frustrated with this. I've got myself stuck. I've done worse than what the computer was doing. They're just running around the building. Stop running. Just accept your fate. This is going to go on too long otherwise. Oh, stupid tree. Right. Can I honestly not get him? <laughs> Come on, please, just kill him. <laughs> this is the most awkward thing ever. Right, uh, did we kill him or just push him out? We just pushed him out. Oh my god, this is so awkward to handle. This stick. Will you kill him already? There we go. That's that one down. Now we've just got to get this one. And I think there's one left after this. I really hope there's one left after this. Come on. Is he dead? He's dead. Where's the last one? I hear someone making noise. Is it one of the halflings rather than the bard? Who's still alive? Hello? No, that was me talking. Who's still alive? I think it's one of the halflings because it sounds like a minion and the halflings sound like minions. So, do we just have to sort of go through just trying to tidy up the mess? No, it's really weird. I can't... Did he run over there? Oh my god. This is so annoying. I think he might be over this direction. I think he might be behind there. Is he behind there? No. Where is he? Okay, so I'm going to cut out until I find him. Otherwise, this is going to take way too long. So, I will see you in a second. Okay, so instead of cutting it out, I came up with this brilliant plan of just not controlling him. Because in that way, he will lock on. And that's who it was. It was this guy down here. It was him. He was just laying there. Just absolutely laying there. But that plan did work. I just decided to give control back to the computer so it locks on and finds them. And it was just this guy. I don't understand why he was laying down there. There's nothing pinning him down. Nothing on top of him. He was just... Not moving. But we did still win. Even if I did have to take control. So... Yeah. <laughs> Time to move on to the next one after that one took forever. So now we've got tier 7 units. Now obviously, going based off of what the last one was, which was tier 1 units, which was the first one, we're now on the last one of every single one. So we've got the Mammoth, the King, the Scarecrow, the Big Boat, the... What was that? The Monkey King, I think he's called? You've got Zeus. I mean, this one's going to be a much tougher battle. Let's put it that way. Now, obviously, one of the ways I know to take down the Mammoth is obviously a lot of spear throwers. I think when I did the testing in one of my old videos, I think it was 45 spears kills a Mammoth. So, we're just going to put in a few rows of them. And then we've got a plan on all the other guys. So, I'm thinking try and keep it long range. Because I, I just prefer long range fighting. I really do. It's, it makes my life so much easier. So we've got those. What else can we put in? We're going to need some shields. I know that. Oh, they're expensive, the knights, but I'm wondering whether that, they'll be able to do it. Or maybe we just put in some cannon fodder. Just put in some clubbers, just to take all the initial hits. Because that's what we need. Give these ones time to really get into action. We've still got 600, so... I'm thinking, what can we do for 600? We could put in a ninja. We could do another monk. No, we're going to go for firework archers as well. There we go. And we could put in another one of those. Okay, so that's a bit of a shambles one. I've actually used quite low units against the top ones. So let's see how this one goes. I don't have much hope for my team, but I could be wrong. So we've got Zeus firing there. Take, they're taking all the hits, which is good. This is what I wanted. 
The uh, Mammoth is down, which is good. We kind of need to take out Zeus as soon as possible, though, because obviously his he does chain attacks, which is not good. And we do also have the Monkey King splitting up and wiping everyone out. But is the Monkey King dead? I think the Monkey King died. The actual king is dead. And Zeus is dead. I can't believe we actually just won that with the units we used. I mean, good old Zeus, though, for surviving that long and dying from an arrow to the shoulder. That's like a really embarrassing death. Sorry, Zeus. But if that didn't kill him, I'm sure one of these ones would. But yeah, that actually went quite fast. I was not expecting to win that, but we won it. Time to move on. Spyro and Crash. Now, that's obviously Spyro the Dragon and Crash Bandicoot. So, this is what we've got for Spyro and Crash. You've got Spyro the Dragon there. And then, because he's turned into the Tornado, that's obviously Crash Bandicoot. Um, yeah, I don't really know how I'm going to take these ones out. We've only got 2,500 gold. That's not good. Unless we could get attacks off fast with my good old faithful... Spear throwers. Let's just go all out spear throwers, shall we? And one clubber. There you go. Spear throwers and a clubber. Let's go. He's obviously going to die straight away. Come on. Spear throwers. You have to throw again. You have to start throwing. Oh, you're going to die. You're going to die. Yeah, they're dead. They are so dead. I don't even know who's still alive on my team. Is it just these two? How are they not dead yet? He's dead. There we go. Now, I think that might actually work. That kind of shocked me a bit by how quickly they died. But I think it could work if we spread them out. Because then that way, the dragon can't just come in with the fire breath and just absolutely annihilate us. So, do you know what? Let's just put them there. And what else can I do for 100? I kind of want something a bit better. We've got a squire, but squire ain't great. There you go, we'll put a shield in instead. Why not? He's, he's just going to die straight away anyway. <laughs> Come on, you've got to take out that dragon. You've got to take out the dragon. The mace spinners are easy if that dragon's gone. There you go, dragon's down. We've got spear throwers on both sides. And I think we've got a mace spinner and some little karate guy left. So I think karate guy is dead. There we go. It was actually that easy. I just had to spread them out a bit more. Kind of expected that one to take a little bit longer because I spread them out. I thought we were still going to die. But we won. Marvel villains. Now, we've done this in a video before where we did Marvel heroes versus villains. But obviously, it's different now. They've done it into... I believe they separated them into two different battles. So this is villains and then the next one is heroes. So, I can't remember who each one was called now. That's obviously Thanos. I really can't remember the different names of them. I've forgotten who they actually put as different people. But yeah, we're, we're going to annihilate them all anyway. And I suppose we've got to go with the uh, spear thrower again. We, whoa, hang on. Have you seen how much money we've got for this one? 16,000. That is a lot of spear throwers. Let's do it. 16,000 to spend on spear throwers. We're just going to keep lining them up. Let's go, spear throwers. There you go. 133 spear throwers versus Marvel villains. This ain't going to go well for my team. This really isn't going to go well. It wouldn't surprise me if this gets very laggy as well. It's actually not too bad, the lag. I thought it was going to be a lot worse. Now, the Mammoth should be dead. The Mammoth is dead. We've got the other people flipping around. We've taken out the Dragon as well, which is good. But we have got a lot of Spear Throwers. <laughs> I think we got given too much money. I think we got given way too much money. We won that so fast. I mean, we didn't even lose that many people. Spear Throwers for the win every single time. They are, they're still so good. Like, they were in right from the start of the game. They're not any of the special units. They're not any of the ones that you have to go through the campaign and unlock and that. These are just absolutely awesome. I love the spear throwers. 
But now we're on to the last battle, which is Marvel Heroes. So these ones I might be able to remember a little bit more, but maybe not. I can't remember all of them. I'm pretty sure maybe like that one is Hawkeye. Um, that one's Vision. Then we've got Iron Man. Um, I can't remember what those two were. That's Hulk there. Um, the big samurai giant is the Hulk Buster. Um, who's the wings guy? Can't remember that one. Oh, that's a uh, Falcon. It is Falcon. Yes, Falcon. Um, was the monk Black Widow? I think the monk might have been Black Widow. Then obviously you've got Groot there. Um, I think that one was Thor. But yeah, I, there's a few of them that I can't remember. But I'm sure if Donna watches this video, she'll put them down in the comments so you guys know exactly who they all are. I'm hoping anyway, but you never know. So, uh, yeah, how are we going to beat all of those Marvel heroes? We have got 15,000, though. That's a thousand less than the villains one. I really don't want to do the spear throwers again, though. I think that's cheating. That is definitely cheating. Now, I know that one's going to sprint at us fast. I know Hulk is going to come in very fast. We've got some of the archers as well, which isn't good. Oh, this is a tough choice. This is a very tough choice. I'm thinking wheelbarrow. Let's do a wheelbarrow because that will hopefully kind of counter Hulk. Scarecrow. Scarecrow. Uh, let's put another one. Why not? Um, let's start looking at the bigger ones as well. I think we've got to put in a couple of these. I think we've got to. They fire really well. Put in some of those. Maybe put in... Oh, bloody hell, we've spent loads of our money already. Jesus, we ain't even put in that many people. The hell was that? Okay, the rest of it's spear throwers then. Let's face it, they're, they're going to be the true heroes of the day. They are. Definitely. Let's go for it. Final battle. Let's do it. Well, it did kind of work against Hulk. That did work, and... I mean, I don't even know what's going on anymore. All I know is they've reached our main line. But, we are annihilating them. I mean, we ain't got many people left. We've got a potion thrower. And that's it. Okay, I was about to comment about group going down and then the different ones that are left. But I was kind of taken aback by the fact that we just won it that fast. That was way too much money. Once again, but it's still an epic battle. That was just absolutely awesome. Look at this guy being the last one to survive. Just absolutely getting annihilated by spears and crows. That was awesome. But yeah, that was the last battle. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to drop that like, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell. That way you won't miss out on any future awesome content. Don't forget, if you do make a level for me to play or a campaign... Make sure you put the exact title down in the comments because the search system on tabs doesn't seem to be working right at the moment. So you have to put in the exact title for some reason. It's really annoying. But if if you do create a level for me, make sure to leave a comment on any of my videos. It doesn't just have to be the tabs one. Just leave a comment saying that you have made the level and what it's called and I'll find it and I'll put it in a future video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.